Hey, welcome back, guys. This is Eight Man Breakdowns with Coach E. I'm Coach E. Let's get started with today's episode. Today, we're going to be talking about the Y cross concept in Eight Man. Remember, I am no expert. I'm just sharing my personal ideas and experiences. So, today's topic, the Y cross concept in Eight Man, like I said, so, like always, in this video, I'm going to show you a couple variations of Y-Cross out of a couple different formations. Uh, mostly how I run the Y-Cross concept is based on original concept variations that Mike Leach and how Mummy used. Um, but I've definitely changed and, like, mixed it with my own ideas over the years. And a lot of it comes back to what I learned from my former college teammate and roommate, Coach Kelso. So, uh, shout out to Coach Kelso. Um but anyway, let's get into it here. So a couple of Y cross variations. So first, I'll start off with the twins look, and then we'll get into a spread look. So Y cross concept in eight man. Let's go to the twins. All right. So here's a twins look. First, let me put the defense out there like always. And you guys, if you've seen any of my previous videos, you know, and you've heard this a million times. I put a 3-2 defense majority of the time because it's still – the primary defense we see in Kansas, eight man. So, okay, <clears throat> excuse me. So first of all, we're going to go with a right to left with the combos, a drag shake cross play action pass play here uh, for our Y cross play. And I'll walk through it in man and zone and, a, and basically how uh, we attack it in each. All right, so first, Overall, this play starts with a drag, like I said. All right. Um, and usually between five to six yards, probably four to six yards for this drag to get across the field. And more so than anything, this drag route is honestly mostly a dummy route. And it's to see if this team is running man in this 3-2 defense. Because, I mean, it'll be pretty easy, pretty easy tell if the corner bites down on the drag. It's man. So it'll be pretty easy to tell. So that's our first uh, look in this, and that's why we run the drag anyway. So then we got the shake route here. So the F is going to run the inside release corner route back to the corner. So there's the shake. Then we got the actual Y cross here. So the Y is going to come inside shade of the front linebacker here or the play side, and then he's going to get vertical. Then he's going to get across the field uh, to the numbers around 10 yards. All right. And that's how we teach the Y. I won't really, or the Y cross. I won't really get into the, how you teach the routes for these two, because I mean, every coach coaches their route running different. It has different ways. They teach everything period. So if you teach it a little different than me, including the Y cross concept, don't worry about it. Uh, absolutely go with whatever you do and whatever you know is best for your offense. You know it better than everybody. So trust yourself and how you teach it. So finally, let's add that last part there, a little play action pass with the running back going into the flat. All right, so first of all, let's get into progression. So we would read it right to left. In this case, the only look for the X would be to see what the corner's doing. So our quarterback's eyes are always going to be over here. All right, so he's actually going to read corner to cross to flat, and then the drag would actually probably be the final progression in – in the progression period, it's going to be the final step. Um, but like I said, it's going to be an easy tell for our coaches, for a quarterback, for everybody, if they're in man or zone, if we run this play just by having this guy run a drag right away. So if it is man, let's say it's man, we'll walk through this real quick. If it's man, he's chasing the, the drag. And the safety is chasing the corner to get all the way over on the shake. We have a guy wide open, potentially two, but one would be the cross. And we could see him wide open here with the corner chasing him, we would, we would hit him and lead him over to here. And there you go. There's a nice, easy gain off the man, the man coverage. All right. So now let's switch. Let's go back. Say they're in zone. So, all right. So he drops deep third and he takes away the corner. This guy has to honor and help over here as well um, because he's staying down near the hash uh, early on. And so he's going to stay deep as well. Corner's going to drop. And he might stay once he finds the drag coming across into his zone. So either way, once again, we have the cross open. So in man and zone with this little shake route over here, most of the time we can get the cross open. All right. 
And now if they're a team that knows that we run some plays, it's going to still pick on whatever coverage they're in. They might bring some blitzes. Now if they do, where do we go? Obviously, we dump it out here. He'd be wide open in that sense. So then the next thing is, though, if we do run a good play action and we've ran outside zone or whatever the case is before, these guys are going to be stepping up anyhow. This guy tends to become an option um, no matter what because if you run in any sort of inside or outside zone, they have to honor this action in the backfield if your line really sells uh, the play fake. So, so there you go. There's a rundown of a drag shake cross route here with the Y cross um, out of a twins look and kind of how we attack it out of man and zone. So there you go. Now let's move on to the next formation, which is going to be an ace formation here in eight man. So let me get the defense out there one more time. Three, two defense, nose tackle there in the middle, linebackers, corners, inside shade, and then the safety over the top. All right. And the majority of teams, not all, but majority of eight man teams align their defense exactly like this. And I will go into a, a video in the future about the most common defenses in eight man. And I'm going to talk specifically about why they're the most common. And anyway, that'll be a time for another episode. But um, so let me explain really fast. The majority of teams do have a corner and they go inside shade like this. And so the reason I'm saying that is because I'll get into this play now. So, and I'll explain it more. So this play is going to be a little fade cross post action. Once again, we're going to run a play action pass here in the backfield. So first we got the outside releasing fade by the X. Now you can do this a couple of ways. You can make it a mandatory outside release, or you can make it a, a work working outside release. Meaning if the corner's already outside shade and he's trying to jam him and keep him inside. Um, yeah, just keep working to the outside, work him until he gets him turned and can get out there. And then that's going to turn this guy's hips and get him basically out of the way. And that's going to leave room for our Y cross to come across. And so that's the whole reason why you could potentially do that if you want. But now most teams will line it up like this anyway. So the outside releasing fade is going to take him out anyway, because if it's man, he's going to turn and run. Even if it's zone, he's got to bail and drop. All right, so he's out. Next play, we got the Y cross. Once again, for us, we're going in front of that first linebacker, getting vertical and then getting across the field over 10 yards. So there's the cross. All right. And it might not – obviously, throughout the course of the of the play, you might not run these exact steps, but that's just – we want to get him inside the linebacker, get up the field, and across. That's, that's where we're teaching it. So, like I've said before, if you teach differently, no problem. And now on the back side, we got this inside releasing post, and I'll get to the reason why here in a few minutes. And then the last part was another play action – Flat route by the running back. Okay. So if it's zone and he bails deep, this guy, both both of these guys are going to keep this guy in the middle of the field. He may come over a little, but that's not his job to come up if he checks him off over into his zone. All right. And then once again, there, this guy drops here. So now once again, we have, if this guy goes all the way back and he comes across, we're going to hit the cross probably in this area, aim and try to hit him over here. And that's going to be a big game. Because we're once again, overall, we are putting pressure on this guy to choose. Is he going to stay deep on the fade route or is he going to come down here? That's in zone. All right, now let's let's change it all and to man and look at that. Oops. All right, so let's go back here. So now it's in man. He, he's staying there anyway. He's committing to there. Here's the reason why we run this inside releasing poster on the backside. If it's man... More than likely, this we trust this guy. He's going to be open down the middle. Because first of all, this guy is going to backpedal. And if this guy can get inside, he's going to have the middle of the field wide open because the safety is going to come down on the wide cross if it's man, if it's a true man. And that's why we like this, this route combination. But so there you go. And then once again, we have this little play action fake in the backfield. So if you wanted to run this guy on a skinnier post, on the inside, you could do that as well if you know it's a man team that runs man. So they go, he could go about right there. Um, and if you get if you get the linebacker step up on the play action fake, throw that there as well if it's man. Or if you get the linebacker step up on fake, you could just hit the back in the in the flat too for a big game. But that's the reason why we run it this way and why we like it this way. 
is because you have those options and it's an easy progression left to right, one, two, three, and then to the check down uh, with the back and the flat. And that honestly is like the main way that Mummy and Leach have ran it over the years. Why cross concept, at least from the things that I've studied, this is one of the most common ways to run Y cross, but you don't see it a lot in eight man. Um, so that's why I kind of wanted to make a video about it anyways. But so there you go. Um, that's basically going to wrap this video up, honestly. So, um, but if you do want to study more on the wire cross concept, feel free to click the link in the description. I'm going to leave a link to this site here, which has access to this exact play. It's more of a, it's more of an article. It gives you like a breakdown of how, how mummy and Mike Leach have used that same Y cross concept over the years. Um, and here it is. I mean, you got the Y cross, you got the outside releasing fade. You got a back going to the flat. In this case, they obviously it's an 11 man. So you got an extra receiver available, but the Z here running the same thing and inside releasing like dig more than a post. But so there you go. That's just the traditional Y cross route out of a split back formation um, that Leach and mummy have used over the years. But like I said, that's going to wrap this video up for today's episode. Um, if you guys have any questions for me, feel free to comment your question on this video. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And a reminder, again, I am no expert. I'm just sharing my personal opinion and ideas and experiences. Um, if you like this type of video, please hit the thumbs up button and subscribe. That way you can stay tuned for future episodes. Um, and like always, thank you for watching.